गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन एंड वेलकम बैक टू आर ई क्लास हव आई यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर फिट फाइन एंड सेफ इन इन योर हाउस इज इन टेट ओके सो हु विल टेल मी दैट वॉट वी हैव लर्न इन आर प्रीवियस लेक्चर क्विकली टाइप इट इन योर कमेंट बॉक्स येस वी हैव लर्न अबाउट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एनिमल्स नाउ वी हैव ऑल्सो सीन हाउ पूनम शी वॉज गेटिंग बोर्ड बींग एट होम isn't it so today we are going to learn something more interesting things about animals yesterday we have seen classification of animals and today we are going to see something different so before that i would like to show you a video
Okay, now looking at this video, you all must have already guessed what is our today's topic. Yes, our topic is sounds of animals. Now, animals also express their feelings. They have their own way to communicate with each other. Tell me children, when you want to talk to your mom or your dad or with your friends, how do you communicate with them? Yes, you all talk with them and you express your feelings. In the same way, these animals, they also have different sounds in which they speak to each other. We may not understand what they are trying to say, but among themselves, they are talking with each other using their sounds. So, let us see one by one. Now, we all will read it together. I will read and you will also repeat it after me. Horse, knees, frog, croaks, duck, quacks, cat, meows, dog, barks, bees, buzz. Now in this video you saw that how they are making sounds but these are the names of the sounds and they are related to these animals. Okay, now further elephant, trumpets, mouse, squeaks, pig, grunts, donkey, brace, bird, chirps, bear, crowds. Now these are the different sounds of some animals. Now I am giving you few names of the animals and you have to search their sounds and type it in your comment box. I will wait for you. So the animals are monkey, zebra, wolf, cow, hen, snake, lion, rhinoceros. Now quickly type me the answers. Okay, right. Many of you have typed it right. Now monkey, chatters, zebra, vinice, wolf. What does wolf do? Nobody has typed this answer. Yes, wolves, howls, cow, moose, hen, clucks, snake, his, lion, roars and rhinoceros bellows. Yes, very good. Now did you understand what are the different types of sounds in animal? Let us move further. Now observe this picture and tell me something what you can see about this picture. You can see a bird, monkey, tiger, zebra and a snake. Yes, you are right. Now we are going to see movements of animals. Now in the previous picture, here you saw a bird. Now bird move from one place to another place by flying. Monkey, it can hop, it can jump, it can walk, isn't it? Snake, it crawls from one place to another to move around. Zebra, lion, they walk and they move around. Okay, so animals have their own ways of moving from one place to another. They have to move in search of food. Now we all, when you are hungry, what you do? You tell mama I am hungry, give me something to eat and it comes directly in front of you, isn't it? But these animals, nobody is going to feed them everything ready made, isn't it? So they have to move from one place to another in search of food. All animal movement is made possible by muscles. They use their muscles for moving. Movement of animals depend on place where they live. Now let's see. Animals that live on trees have the ability to hop or fly. Isn't it now tree animals like bird? It flies. Monkey sometimes hop. Okay. Animals living on land have legs which help them to move from one place to another. Now land animals they move with the help of legs. You all know that? Yes, you all know that. Now some animals that crawl have the features of being on the ground. They crawl on the ground 
and they move from one place to another. Now examples of animals that fly. How do you think they can fly? Yes, they fly with the help of wings. In the previous lecture, I have told you about birds. How do they fly? With the help of wings, feathers, isn't it? Now some have small wings, some have big wings. Now have you seen a sparrow or a crow flying very up high up in the sky? No, but some animals can fly very high in the sky. Who are they? Yes, eagle. It flies very high. Now birds with small wings cannot fly very high. Now animals which crawl. Now can you tell me what is crawling? Yes, it means moving slow mode of movement on hands, knees or dragging the body. You have seen snail, you, can, you have seen snake, earthworms. They do not have legs. They move with movement of their body and they drag their body to the ground. Now animals who crawl, who do not, they do not have legs to walk, isn't it? Now next, example of animals that walk. Now we all walk. We have two legs, so we move from one place to another. If I want to move from my place and I want to go to another place, we move, we get up, isn't it? Now if you want to go to kitchen, how do you go? Do you crawl? No, you do not crawl. Do you hop? No, we walk. In the same way, these animals who has animals who have legs, they move from one place to another with the help of legs, right? Now walking helps them to move in search of food and shelter. Moving ahead, examples of animals that hop. Now there are hopping animals. Why do these animals hop? Hopping and leaping give them a way to evade predators fast. Now what do you mean by evade? It means to escape. Now these hopping animals like rabbit, kangaroo, grasshopper, they, they are hopping. Now grasshopper can be eaten by some of the birds. So they hop very fast to move and to escape from the predators. So they have well developed hind legs to give them a fast start and hopping is natural for animals whose hind legs are more powerful than their fore legs. Now hind legs means yes the legs which are behind and fore legs means the legs which are in front. Now you can see kangaroo it has what it has more powerful hind legs. Isn't it? Can you see is it in picture how they are hopping? Yes. Now one more interesting thing. The hare is the fastest animals and has a great ability to jump. And red kangaroos are the fastest jumpers among all the mammals. Now let us watch a video based on movements of animals. You all like to watch video? So it's a video time. Lizards and chameleons have two. 
two pair of short beak learns to move. Mammals. Animals such as cows, goats, camels, cats, lions, tigers, dogs, and bees move with limbs. They have two pairs of limbs. A pair of four limbs and a pair of hind limbs. Animals such as now limbs means yes their legs four limbs and hind limbs okay now so we have learned about sounds of animals and types of movements in animals i hope you all have understood the topic now we will solve this which is there in your test book now you must have seen many animals isn't it now you have to type the names of the animals according to the category you will type it in your comment box now tell me three animals who can fly any three animals type it in your comment box okay very good now animals that can crawl type three names for me yes now animals that can walk very good now animals that can hop Okay now write the names of animals that have wings Very nice Now type animals that have feet Good that everybody is typing the answers very nice Great Now type the names of the animals who have a tail yes very good now quickly ch we'll check the answers the ans answers may vary but just check whether you have written correct answers yes right the answers are now animals that can fly are butterfly pigeon parrot animals that can crawl lizard snake earthworm walking animals cow buffalo tiger yes hopping animals like grasshopper rabbit kangaroo have wings crow cuckoo peacock it may be any other bird because, because all the birds have wings yes now feet 
feet also you can write goat sheep lion isn't it it is required for them to move around now animals that have tail yes monkey cow and horse i hope you all have written this answer yes now what you have to do is after my class is over you will write down all these answers in your test book okay did you all get me very good now hope you all have understood today's topic about sounds of animals and movements in animals okay bye bye have a nice day